Today we're in Loxton in the heart of the Riverland and there's a pizza bar here called the Loxton Pizza Bar. Not only do the locals reckon they have the best pizzas in the whole region, but our producer Clint will not shut up about how good their chips are. So let's go meet Dave the owner and find out why. Clint, let's go meet Dave. Leave them. Dave. Jason. Lovely to meet you, mate. You too. Now, I've heard amazing things about chips here and pizza, but I don't care what's on the board. I want to see what's in the, in the kitchen. Well, Can we do that? Yeah, absolutely. Come on around. We'll All get right. to working. Welcome into the inner sanctum. Thank you. So, before we can start, we've got to do a ceremonial handing over of the apron. Excellent. Oh, thank you. This is amazing. I've always wanted one of these. So, I give you my superannuation number, details and stuff, and then for the payment? Well, we do a three-month internship first. Right. <laughs> three months? Then, then we can discuss payment afterwards. Okay, excellent. Show me where the magic happens. Come on through. Obviously, we're, we're here to talk about pizzas, but first, I've heard that these are the best chips in Loxton. Um, you know, they're not the best chips in Loxton for no reason at all, mate. You know, we source all our potatoes locally, renowned as being the, uh, the best area in the world for growing potatoes. Really? You don't see crinkle-cut chips very often. Why crinkle-cut? Because oh, they're the best. Do you know how um, a lot of things are ergonomically designed? Yes. So, same uh, principle applies to chips. They're just easy to grab. <laughs> so these chips are ribbed for your pleasure? They, well. How many of these bags do you go through in a day? Quite a few. We actually go through about nine tonne in a year. Wow. And tell me about this oil. What, what kind of oil do you use to make your bacon? Today we're cooking in uh, canola oil, which is 100% uh, cholesterol free. Good, my doctor would be very happy with you. We give them a good old shake, get all the excess oil off, because nothing worse than greasy takeaway food. Ugh. Good lord, that's heavier than I thought. A bit of chicken salt. A bit of uh, God's seasoning. That's right. How much chicken salt do you put? That's a lot, but that's good. <laughs> oh God. I'm sure there's a more elegant way to do that. There is, and that might probably scare our customers if they see it going in like that. Dave, it's pizza time. Well, Jason, have you ever made a pizza before? I have, but they're terrible. Okay, so you've made terrible pizzas, and this is dough that we're going to be using for customers today, so we better make it good. <laughs> right, yo. I'll get you to top up the bucket. <laughs> all right, how much did this? Oh, God, I dropped it. It's all right, we're not going to use the stuff that's on the ground. This flour that we're using today is a pizza flour, so it's a blended flour. It's a product that contains um, a lot of protein. We want that protein because the protein's going to create gluten which is going to make for an awesome pizza base. The type of dough that we're going to make today is a modern take on the Neapolitan. Traditionally, a Neapolitan base takes about two days to proof. Okay. Our base is going to take about an hour to proof. Jason, here's the finished product. Nice, look at that. Beautiful batch of pizza bar DNA. <laughs> So we can see that it's risen beautifully now. Yes, it has um, risen indeed. So that way we know that gluten has been formed in there. Okay. And we're gonna check now for the gluten content. And the way we do that is just by sticking our finger in. And with a bit of luck, that hole will stay there. Okay. It's intact. Can I do that? Look at that. Oh, that is creepy. And creepy but beautiful. Yes, absolutely. Just think how many mouths this will go to feed you tonight. Oh, don't rub it like that when you say that. <laughs> okay, so now we gotta cut out some dough and roll out some bases. And that's what we're gonna put our balls on. Sorry? Our balls. Okay. Very nice and fluffy. Excellent. What we're going to do is knead the dough. Okay. Nice, beautiful balls. This is like folding a bed sheet. You tuck all the bits that don't look nice under the bottom and then you... There you go. Well, I mean, well it's quite... It's, it's, it, it's, yeah. it's, it's kind of a circle. So now we're ready to roll out. So we used to use a rolling pin, but that was a bit time consuming. Yes. And bad for our back. So because we'll do... Look at that! ...about 200 of these today, it saves us a lot of time. You're not going to flip it in the air? Because of the style of dough that we're making, yeah. because this one, the maturation period is so much shorter, if we do spin it, it will go straight through. Yours looks better than mine. Well, what I was going to do is I was going to get a, a bit more here and then roll a hot dog into it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Innovation is key. Always be innovating. That's pretty good. So this is our aerator and it's really satisfying. Roll it across. Great. Everything here is like a torture device. Oh. Like that could kill a man, this could kill a man. Nicely done. So those bases now are ready to be prepped. 
When I make pizzas at home, my eyes are too big for my stomach and I end up lowering it up and it becomes a quiche. We're very old school, so we actually do put quite a bit of topping. Hey. But not so much that it's a quiche. We cut up all our fruit and veg every day. You know, you know the product's gonna be beautiful. The base is key. Tomato base, so we make ourselves with right. um, tomato purees, oregano, basil, garlic, bit of pepper and a little bit of sugar. How long have you been using this recipe? This recipe we've been using now for 33 years. Secret ingredient breadcrumbs. Okay. We use these to absorb any excess moisture. Nice. Because we use fresh product, um, as it cooks, it releases moisture. It's a nature's sawdust. Look at that. Stretch curd mozzarella. Try and keep most of it on the actual picture. Well, you should have said that at the start then. You can't go changing the rules, Dave, halfway through the construction phase. Same amount of ham as cheese. Local small goods, locally Excellent. made pepperoni. You haven't put any in the middle, so every slice gets one, and you don't get that awful bit that hangs off like a, a pepperoni wart on the end. Now, do you judge people based on their order? We don't judge people like that, but certainly when a customer comes in, we can actually tell what they're gonna want. Okay. We could just say, he's gonna get a meat lover slice, or she's gonna buy a hot dog. <laughs> okay, someone comes in right now in high vis, what do they want? High vis, they'll be buying fried chicken and a pizza slice. <laughs> All right, so these are ready to go in the oven. Just trim off these edges. Makes Bit sense. of technique involved in this, so make sure you're watching closely. Shit, I've, I've stuffed it up already. When you're ready to tap out. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm nailing this. Look at that. Beautiful. Lean it on the edge, and then just feed it in. Nicely done. Close it up. Oh, I can't wait. They smell good already. Voila. It's very nice. Okay, let's go eat. All right, well, it's, it's my first day on the job, so you take a seat and I'll bring it out to you. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Here are the pizzas, that's the masters. Beautiful, thank This is you. the uh, amateur enthusiast who is still showing a lot of promise. All right, I've been told these chips are the best, I need to try one. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, not bad. I noticed that there is not only a Dave special here, but also a Paul special. Now, we haven't spoken at all about this Paul, but I don't think I like him. Hey. <laughs> Who's Paul? Well, it's a family business. Okay. That's so obviously Paul being my brother. Right, now Dave's special is above Paul's special. Does that mean it's the better seller? I think it's just in alphabetical order. Did you both get to choose what was on your pizzas? The previous owner, he had his pizza, which was a Tony special. Paul came before me. Right. So Paul took on the Tony special. Okay. A couple of years later when I came on the scene, I'm like, well, this is not fair. So we needed a day special. We studied our, our menu and we identified a need for another chicken pizza. The day is special was born. I've been waiting all day for this. I'm good at this. I think you are too. Wow. Cheers. <laughs> I've never done that before. 